In Time, Space, Energy, Nickerson Rossi Dance collaborates with composer and performing artist Patrick Olson in an unpredictable exploration of the border between science and art. This multifaceted production involves live original music, performance art, projection, singing, and dance. I'm Michael Nickerson Rossi, the founder and artistic director of Nickerson Rossi Dance. So I'm Patrick Olson. I am a composer and a musical performer. Professionally, I was a science publisher and had lots of opportunities to meet with scientists and have their views shape my perspective. I think having science and dance is a perfect marriage and hence the title Time, Space and Energy. Those are the elements of dance. So you have to have all three to create any kind of phrasing the way that dance is assessed and observed and witnessed. And, and uh, this was one of the first things that really tied our work together because uh, when Michael came up with the title of this, um, I think he did so largely in connection with the principles of dance, but it actually fit the physics of what I'm interested in perfectly. And uh, you know, time, space, energy are key concepts in all of science. My goal in participating in, in this performance and in working with Michael and the uh, Nickerson Rossi Dance Company is really about the experience of connecting with people. The ability to have an idea and to express that idea and to have it resonate with an audience and to have that audience respond and be moved or touched or changed by that. Um, for me, that's everything uh, that is important about being human. Being inspired from watching Time, Space, and Energy, you know, I encourage the dance community to go out and learn about different audiences and different communities and how they can create this type of work and bring it to different demographics because it is informative, so it's, edu it's educational. It clearly, it's uh, centric in the arts in terms of how it's designed but it's led by facts and original composition in music and in dance. Well, I think the show should come to Maine if the audience in Maine is looking for something that is genuinely original and different and very difficult to predict. This, this experience, and that's how I refer to it, more so than just a performance, this experience is a, um, head spinning experience. It's entertaining on one level, but on another level it's emotionally moving. And then perhaps most importantly, the third level is it has the potential to change how people see the world. And uh, I think that's a really interesting thing. And if, if the people of, in Maine, if the people who would be coming to a show like this would find that kind of thing interesting, I think that's uh, reason enough. <laughs> <laughs> What's the question again?